Hello everyone and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkian Wiersma, also known as EJ. And yes, this is the blooming update already from November. And to be honest, I uh, cannot wait to, uh, to spring to start again. It's very cold and, and rainy out here. It's just not, not that nice. So I think uh, we can, uh, can use some, uh, some blooms to um, get us uh, feel some warmth again in some way or another. And I'm starting uh, with this one. This is a uh, Veneliopsis, Dendrobium Veneliopsis, a white one. And I'm starting with this one because uh, Inter gave me a name of a white uh, Veneliopsis, Dendrobium Veneliopsis, here we go again. <laughs> uh, it's a coconut cream, I believe. And I said, well, I have one that's very similar. And it is this one. It has a little bit of green hint there and a bit of purple pinkish color but it's almost white so thank you so much for the name i'm not sure if this is the exact one but i have at least this one is similar enough so i don't need need a particular one but uh, that is this beauty next to it is this beautiful orange one something sander or sandrea and i cannot find a tag I probably dropped it on the floor, but if you want to know the name, I can give it to you because I have it in my notes. But it's beautiful. It still has some buds to open up. But yeah, beautiful shape. A brushy uh, type, I believe. It has a spidery uh, feel to it in the blooms. And above it, we have my Verona. It has some are over, but still this one is fairly fresh. Um, but let me see, it's facing the other way, this is upside down, there we go, look at that. And here are some more of the uh, Verona. And uh, while we are up here, I have some blooms in here, still a few, those are about to go over. This is a no ID brush hair type. And here, well, also, this one is going over, but it's the uh, carrots. Then uh, Brasia carrot, green carrot, I believe it is called. Very, very nice one. It, it does get a bit darker when it's almost over, but when it's fairly fresh, it has this beautiful green creamy color on the blooms. I really enjoy it this one. Well, let's turn uh, to this area where we have still a few blooms left on this uh, sunset. Also uh, very nice. Still looking good. Then down here we have even a fresh spike on this Miltonia. You see, this one is just to Opening up just a few blooms, but still, nonetheless, beautiful. Then I have here this strange cross, Amazonica something, Amazonica, beautiful creamy flowers. And obviously this one, the orange delight, still blooming again, or blooming again. For months now, this one is making spikes. We have even more here. This is all also a very, um, probably my most favorite one in the brushia types. I really enjoy this one. Absolutely beautiful color on there. So that's it in this corner. And of course, we have this uh, big queen over here. Look at that. So yeah, my floor is wet of all the rain. So yeah, it's a bit, uh, I didn't spray my orchids, it's just uh, from outside. But anyhow, a heck of a lot of blooms here. Doesn't this look pretty? I really, really love this one. It's such a huge orchid with these pendulant spikes. Whoops, I tried to get it all in frame. Absolutely beautiful. And when they just open up, they are a little bit darker. Beautiful. Then we have this Dendrobium Veneliopsis still blooming. Some blooms are going over, as you can see. And they've been in bloom for quite a while. Here's another 
fairly white one. And in the back we have that. Maybe it's called Pink Splash, I'm not completely sure. Dendrobium Phaleopsis Pink Splash. It looks very similar. And then this purple one is working on a uh, new spike, just opening up the first blooms. It has this uh, big one still in bloom as well. Then this one I did forget the last time I did a blooming update, this is the Snow White. But also some blooms are going over on that one. Thailand's Black is really blooming still fairly well. And way more blooms over here, even some buds to come. So yeah, these are, are still uh, be here for a while, I guess. <laughs> This is my blue happiness. It's now starting to show signs of going over. But still quite some uh, beautiful, fairly nice looking blooms on there. Then we have this beautiful sherry baby. Let me see, maybe I should turn the camera around so we can have a bit of a close up of the blooms. Here we go. And yes, the fragrance is absolutely fantastic. For me, it's a little bit more chocolate and then vanilla, but definitely a beautiful combination of the two. And it's a fairly uh, nice spike, fairly big spike. Can get even bigger, but I'm happy with this. <laughs> it looks beautiful. So we have still some fell blooms here, but there are uh, fresh ones coming. And this one is fairly fresh as well. It's a branch, I believe. Absolutely beautiful one, this one. And up there, let's zoom in. Look at those. Beautiful, the pattern on it is such, so beautiful. The beautiful combination of the colors there. Let me turn around and let's, this is just opening up for the video. The first Symbidium Bloom here on my channel. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But actually, I'm lying. This one was opened earlier, I just noticed. <laughs> this is a uh, miniature Cymbidium. Nice greenish blooms. But yeah, this is the uh, yellow one, this is my oldest one. And we have quite some uh, spikes and buds to come. Or some buds to come, I should say. <laughs> and my Binosa is still in bloom, but it starts to fade a little bit, as you can see. <laughs> but still we have the three blooms. And then over here, this is beautiful, look at this. Best blooming so far in this one, the beautiful Cattleya. Maybe you recognize it already. It's a fairly common one, I believe, but this is the uh, for sure, glory, happy holidays. That is this one. And I'm blooming this at least for the second time. Yeah, I think for the second time. Last time I, I this one has now five blooms. I think I had three or so. I'm not completely sure anymore, but beautiful. Nice fragrance on it. So that's, uh, that's wonderful. Wheel will change. Well, it doesn't have a bloom open now, but it's sequential, so it's Still blooming. A Cattleya bloom, well, that is going over, <laughs> definitely. My Angracum, look at that. Not a bloom yet, but it looks uh, promising. This is the first time I will get that in bloom. And my Yellow Vanda is starting to open up her blooms. It's a bit colder, so the blooms develop not that pretty as in summer, then they are a little bit bigger. They can still grow, this is just opening up, but still I can see the color isn't as intense as when it's, the weather is it's warmer and, and better light. But nonetheless, we have blooms, we have blooms. <laughs> this epidendrum is now going over. It's been in bloom for quite a while, but it's now uh, giving up on these blooms. And then over here, well, the Lycaste, as you can see, is going over. But this one, my Fred Clark, is beautiful blooming at the moment with two beautiful spikes. And look at those blooms, almost black. 
a very very dark red purplish color and it looks beautiful also from a distance i think if you can see the whole plant here it's absolutely beautiful and the one next to it is making buds the next the one next to that one is the wine delight that did bloom but in the back you can see we have another spike so i will have all four of them in bloom not at the same time <laughs> try it every year but i fail so far but doesn't matter of course because the, the spikes are beautiful absolutely stunning so yeah absolutely beautiful my Bellina very beautiful and this Leodora bloom just opened up I think about two days ago something like that beautiful it's a nice fresh spike and this is the Celebensis I did get from Inse Look at that. Very nice, interesting shaped blooms. And they're very, fairly far apart, actually, on a spike. They make a sort of cluster. Let's, let's put it like that. Whoops. And we have quite some, uh, some to come. So uh, that does uh, look very nice, I believe. So that is so far in here. Let's go inside of the at the room and believe it or not uh, we still have Miltoniopsis in bloom look at these beauties oh I love them I love them as you probably already know <laughs> this one but it also opens a secondary spike or a second spike I should say but look at the color this is more purple and when they open up they are a bit more reddish color wise whoops I'm sorry try to get the camera in I, l I like them the most in this color, that reddish color, but this one is still beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I like that a little bit better, that's a little bit deeper color. So, and then down here I have my Oncidium Tiger something, Black Tiger Star, there was the deck. Still some blooms left, most of them are dropping, but very interesting. Uh, pattern as well if you ask me these blooms then I have this one still in bloom and this opened up when it weather was a little bit warmer and this just recently opened up the spike is a little bit shorter and the colors are a little bit darker probably it will start to look more as these but I noticed they are they look a little bit darker probably because it's it's a, a bit less light I believe not completely sure, but I think so. These are about to go over. These spots appear when the blooms are about to uh, say goodbye. And, and I now noticed this. It has almost two heads. <laughs> I don't see two pollens, but you see there? This only has one cap here and this one has two. I don't know the proper name. But you can see the difference. I just noticed that. Anyhow, yeah, we go to this side because here we still have some Nelly Eilers. And you can s probably see these colors are starting to fade. This yellow one is starting to look way more creamier. <laughs> so probably they will not make it to uh, the end of the December. And another update. Let's have a look at this one. This is the original Swiss Beauty. Oh yeah, fragrance is fantastic. I personally love it. The Nelly Iron fragrance. <laughs> and then of course, these beauties. The Rosalie Xantinas. Miltoniopsis Rosalie Xantinas. Absolutely stunning. That yellow is so beautiful. And it looks so well with those green leaves. They're a little bit sunshine. Absolutely stunning. Whoops. <laughs> and then this no idea that it is found on a Landsbergen visit. <laughs> Starting to open up her blooms. And funny, this starts on the top. Some just start with the first ones, but this one is going the other way around. <laughs> Which is fine by me, but I just noticed. Normally it's uh, the other way, up, more up, there are the buds and there are the blooms. 
and then we still have this beautiful large spike as well so you can see there are some blooms are going over but still some are looking fairly fresh this one has a name this is the onto yeah i have it as an onto glossum red ruby so that's over here then i have this bobcat let me see if i can um get it in <laughs> i need to turn it around a little bit yes there we go so wild cat bobcat this one called first time i rebloom it beautiful uh, fairly large spike on this one and then over here i have my peggy root carpenter for example just starting to open up these blooms also very beautiful if you ask me i have a spike here they did like uh, the aphids did like it as you can see still have some aphids going around but it also has a butt still to open up and in the back there i have this orange no id also from landsbergen it opened up a few blooms very nice color and then we have this beauty a bit of sunshine on the blooms does do them well i, I guess <laughs> and uh, where's the tag here it is oh but is on a tag this is the name for it let me uh, put it like this <laughs> that is whoops that is this one and then I have the Katarina Zog over here. There's a fresh spike coming here, an older spike there. Then we have this beautiful dancing lady spike. Look at this. It's a quite a spike, I think. Um, let me grab one close up ah, here. Oops. I'm trying to work with the sun believe it or not there we go absolutely beautiful fairly uh, large blooms there are different varieties but the dress <laughs> so to speak is fairly big on these uh, girls <laughs> a blr type uh, this is probably my favorite one in that collection i absolutely love this one i have it i have it as no idea i'm not completely sure about the name but I don't mind. Look at that sunshine behind it. Absolutely beautiful. It blooms fairly well for me, but only once once a year. It takes a, a bit of time to develop, but oh, once they are open, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Then this one opened up again. No, I shouldn't put my hand in front of it. Sorry for the background, it's a bit uh, messy, but and this one has a name for a change. <laughs> Zirinchonia Violetta von Holm. Beautiful, uh, beautiful bloom, if you ask me. Nice shape. And kind of similar shape wise is this one. This is the Alba that we saw previously as well it started darkening up so it's going over now um, this is also a herring castella pictonisis alba it has a same parent as this one if i'm correct so that's why they fairly uh, close and look look alike the colors are a bit different of course then up here i still have a beautiful bloom on my blackjack which is also working on a another spike which is awesome of course and then ha I have this one this one has two blooms on the same spike it's something crossed with white lady Puffio Petalum white lady absolutely beautiful and it has another coming as you can see and this is from the Pinocchio Alba and I did have 
a viewer's question to do a, a sort of care guide on these these ones so that's that's coming as soon as i have time i will uh, talk about these ones i do have already a care collab on this one but we can do a sort of update but yeah i think that is it and i know as usual i always forget something something yeah oh, how can i forget you see here we go this is such a beauty how can i forget you look at this <laughs> i know i say it with every arc but this one is so beautiful i really really love it i really really love it this is the name it's from the incas i at least i did get it from the inca arcades i think it's sellers beautiful you know what it's making a spike another spike over here and another one over there so we will have some blooms of these absolutely beautiful oh and maybe you saw it in the back but it's starting to open up my ludicia starting to bloom as well so those will be in the next update as well and i have more spikes to come but anyhow um let me quickly check yeah i think this is it for now for the blooming update so yes you guys i hope you're all doing well i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know by uh, giving this a like or a comment maybe you want to share it that would be awesome as well and if you didn't already have your mate want to consider subscribing to my channel that would be really awesome as well thank you so much for watching and i really really hope to see you at one of my next videos so bye bye <laughs>